think it's a very, very poor idea for Fernando Tatis to be playing soccer before a game. I also think it's a really, really bad look for the Padres organizationally and for the kid himself. And listen, he's dude. No, I, I'm serious. I, I, I know I, you I, are. That's why I think it's funny. But but listen, dude, right here. He steps over the ball with his right ankle. He could twist it. He could break it. He could fall wrong on his hip. He could hurt himself. And I just, I, I just, for a guy, look at his left hand. You see how his left hand is where his surgery was? Look, you see how he comes down? I mean, this guy could hurt his shoulder at any time. <laughs> this guy hurt his shoulder throwing a ball, hurt his shoulder uh, sliding, hurt his shoulder swinging a bat. This guy's a fragile dude, you know, and, and got hurt on a motorcycle accident this past off season. Had to have surgery because he didn't handle it before he got here for, for the start of the season. He's missing the first 60 games at least of the season, and he's out in the outfield playing soccer before a game, which, by the way, seems innocent en enough. right? He's a young kid. He's got a big smile on his face. He's doing something different. But for a guy like this, where you have that much money wrapped up into him, I don't want to see him playing soccer and taking a risk with his ankle his hip, his knee, his wrist, his shoulder. I don't want him taking that risk. Am I way off? Am I just being way uptight here about this? Yes. Oh. No. Oh. No. I agree. I agree with you. From a guy, again, who got hurt throwing the ball. Now, that level of fall, I'm sure his shoulder appears to be healed because he fell off a motorcycle apparently a couple of times this offseason and had no shoulder injuries. So I'm assuming his shoulders are fine. As of mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. the idea that the Padres organization has happened openly in the field, and this is probably not the first time that they've done that. I'm not against guys being able to do activities before the game on the field because you loosen up. It's a long season. You need other things to kind of, you know, take your mind off the game and kind of uh, raise the energy level, have some fun in the clubhouse. I don't know if this is I don't I don't know if this is it. I it, There's too many things could go wrong with that individual player. All the healthy guys doing that. Yeah. Until he's physically 100% full bill of health from a doctor of some sort. If I'm if I'm in the organization, I don't want him doing that. Now, whether he gets mad at us again and takes all the pictures off Instagram, so be it. But I don't want you doing that, man. Like, until you can play, you can't do the other stuff everyone else can do. It's like a kid. You get you get an F in class. Until you get the grade up to a C, you, 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 you can't do the other stuff. You can't go on no field trip. You got to stay at the school, bro. Like, what is you all doing? Right. All right, so Alex, tell me this. John and I agree, which mm -hmm. is a rarity Always that we're on the same time. side. Yeah, this is not good. <laughs> this has you now. You're on your own. We're yeah. both uptight about it. We both think that that Fernando Tatis Jr. should not be playing soccer before a game because of his injury history and because he's still recovering from, from surgery on his wrist, on his hand. Why do you feel like this is not a big deal at all and we're making too much out of it? Um, to answer that question, I don't really know. Then I think that's why when I saw it, I laughed at it. And then I was, my initial reaction was, oh, that's cool. He's still part of the team and he's still around the team. That's the only thing I thought about. And then I moved on. I literally did not think about injury, wrist, hip, nothing. I saw the fall. I saw it. Start, I saw it start trending on Twitter, and I saw the reaction mm -hmm. to it. And I still don't feel that way. And I can't tell you why I don't feel that way, because I don't know. It just doesn't seem like a big deal to me. But I love that you guys brought up every way he's gotten hurt so far. Right? He's mm -hmm. by throwing mm -hmm. a ball, by swinging a bat, by sliding, by fielding, by literally everything you have to do on a baseball field. He's gotten hurt doing it already in his young career. So mm -hmm. to me, it's like. It just it just shows like anybody can get hurt doing anything. True. So what do you want him to do? That's my well, question to you guys is okay because what you didn't see was the pregame warmups. The and what I mean by that is he's on the field before anybody doing his own with the trainer doing his baseball activities, doing mm -hmm. his conditioning, keeping the legs fresh, doing all that stuff. Like those are the videos that don't make the air, don't make don't go Fair trending. Enough. Got it. Fair so enough. to me, it's like, okay, he's handling his work. He's around the team. He still seems to be the fun, bubbly guy that we all fell in love with. 
and mm-hmm. he's not being this sour patch grump causing friction in the locker room because he got in a motorcycle and deleted all his Instagram. Like to me, it just showed me Tatis is just being Tatis. This is what he does to me. He I'm equally as worried seeing him swing a bat as I am watching him play soccer. <laughs> and I'm not being right. funny. I'm really not trying. No. I am equally I concerned watching him do baseball activities than anything else. Like, so that, I think that's why to me, it wasn't a big deal. When people say you can get hurt during anything, that's 100% true. That's a very real statement. But you should put yourself in harm's way when it's unnecessary. And this is one well, of that's those. That's why I asked, like, what do you want him to do? Like, so here's nothing, what I want him to do. Here's nothing, what I want him to do. No, I'm see, again, no one is saying do nothing. No one is saying do nothing. But for a person injured, that's not an activity. Like if team issued activities for you to do, for you to keep your rhythm, for you to keep your sharpness, for you to keep your muscle memory, those level of things that are obviously approved by a trainer and a doctor and the doctors, of course. The guy wants to go to the movies, the guy wants to go out to a nightclub. Yeah, cool, man. Knock yourself out. That's not physical activity. Alex, your point is right on. I mean, look, Fernando Tatis could leave the ballpark. He could be walking in downtown San Diego and a car could hit him. And then, you, you know, we're going to be like, well, why was he walking? I mean, what, they don't have a shuttle for right, him? They don't have a driver lives, for him? I don't think he lives in downtown anymore. But his rookie season, he was cruising around in birds. That's way more dangerous than playing okay, soccer. So, so, so here's, here's, what I, here's what I'd say. If I'm, here, let me put it this way. If I'm Peter Seidler and I'm the owner of the Padres and I've got 14 years and $340 million wrapped up into this young kid and I'm kind of irritated from the beginning because he was riding a motorcycle in the offseason and didn't properly get this handled and now he's costing us 60 days with him not being on the roster. And by the way, look, um, I'm not saying that the season's getting away from the Padres. Hardly. It's We're, we're in the first two weeks of the season. 11 okay? games in. Great. We're, and, and the Dodgers are on a six game winning streak right now. And the Padres are, they're just a, right now they're a five and six, six and five, like kind of right in that neighborhood kind of team. The whole goal here is, is for the Padres to hang on so that when Tatis comes back, he's an explosive part of an upswing. Uh, so for me, if I'm the owner of the team, I don't want him riding a bird scooter. I don't want him playing soccer on the field before the game. I don't want him running patterns and catching a football before the game. I, I want him to focus on what is it you need to do so that when you're back and ready, your body it has responded and you are full go 100% ready to roll at the end of this 60-day IL stint. 